What's up everybody? Welcome to Leo Does Street. This is the show where I learn all about street photography by actually doing it. Now a few of you have been asking me how I take photos on the streets. How do I take photos of strangers? Well, this is the video that answers all of that. So typically I do street photography, but of late I've been getting more and more into street style photography and that's what I'm going to show you. How I do my street style photography. All the amazing joys of it and all the crushing defeats. So embarrassing to look at. But hey, you asked for it, so here it is. So caveat is I'm going to show you the behind the scenes process and then at the end of the video I'll show you all the photos that came out of all of it. And if you do like the kind of photos that you see, definitely check out my website streetstyleuk.com or check out my Instagram which is streetstyle.birmingham and yeah don't forget to subscribe back at it again out on the streets of Birmingham and again street photography hopefully I could do some street style I really do love shooting fashionable people for some reason that's just a thing that really excites me foolishly I've not brought my shades the weather in England has been exceptionally warm to a fault uh, I can barely see the glare is really strong and it's very humid and hot but I'm not complaining not complaining at all. Let's do this thing. Some of you have been asking how I do this and I've only been doing this for about six or seven months now. So not wanting to sound like I know everything about it. I still feel like a noob myself. But today I've got someone filming me and hopefully that can give you some insights into what it looks like. I'm actually quite keen to see what it looks like because I've never seen myself doing it. I hope it's going to be okay. I'm only going to give myself an hour today because the weather is so lovely, I do want to enjoy it. So yeah, follow me around and hopefully I get some decent shots of people. So at the moment, I'm still, I still haven't broken the ice, I'm still a bit nervous, so I might try and fire off a, shoot, a few sneaky shots just to get myself in the moment, in the mood, get my settings correct. But really, ideally, I want to be talking to people because then I can get the perfect frame shot. So yeah, I'm still a little bit... <laughs>
So I guess I'm not like most people. I find it completely and absolutely nerve-wracking, nerve-shattering to go up to people and ask them for their portrait. So, <laughs> Lord knows how long I'll be doing this for. But that's the point. And a lot of rejection is what it's about. So you've probably seen me get rejected a few times. That's pretty much what it is. And it's awesome when someone says yes. It's like reaching an oasis in the desert. It's really cool when that happens. So, them's the breaks, kids. It's not easy, but that's how it works. So it's pretty hit and miss. It's really hard to know. You have to make a judgment call and it could be great or it could be terribly, terribly, it could go terribly wrong. So in some instances, you might meet some blokey blokes and they get really riled up because they might think your intentions are a bit awkward. So I wish I could give you a secret pill and say it was really simple. Some of it is pretty boring, it's just standing there and waiting. Some of it is just trying to get shots that you can, where you can, but at its best, it's interacting with people, chatting with people, and I think that's, that's the best part of it for me. But yeah, that's how it goes. Look into me eyes, look into me eyes, look into me eyes, you're under. And when you wake up from this video, you will subscribe. And you're back. Hey guys, welcome to this lovely video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, uh, please subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.